four supplements tested on myself to try and boost my IQ. I believe it's possible to grow your intelligence to at least 190 IQ. I've already proven part of that by increasing my IQ by 13 points already. You can see my first video where I've increased my IQ by 13 points by doing brain training alone. I'm going to talk about some supplements I've tested on myself in combination with the brain training I was already doing. So out of the four supplements that I tested to boost my mental performance, one of them was actually really bad. It had the opposite effect. It like tanked my mental performance. And one was really good. Um, I'll probably leave those two to the end. Um, I'll just talk about the first two first, and then we'll get to those more interesting ones a little bit later. So the first supplement that I tested is called Tonkat Ali. Now, the brand doesn't really matter. This is just the brand that I bought. The main purpose of it is to boost your testosterone level. So why would that be beneficial to your mental performance? Basically, uh, the higher your testosterone level is, the more calm you are, the more relaxed, and the more calm and relaxed you are, the better your mental performance. That was my theory in testing this for mental performance. Um, so I took this for about a month, um, just one tablet per day, and really I didn't notice anything. So in terms of my brain training scores, they weren't improved at all. And I also tested my testosterone level. So I got a blood test before and after taking this Tonkat Ali. And there's no change in my testosterone level as well. So the first supplement for boosting mental performance, um, I wouldn't really recommend it. So the second supplement that I tested to boost my mental performance is called Alpha GPC. Now there's heaps of brands of this as well. So the brand isn't important. You don't have to buy this one if you want to test it on yourself. Um, so Alpha GPC, basically it's a form of choline. Um, now I've talked about choline before in some of my other videos and I think it's massively important to your mental performance. And it's one of the micronutrients that you just definitely need to get into your body. I mostly get it from natural sources. I eat four eggs a day and I have other kinds of fatty fish and meat that also have a decent amount of choline in them. So I get a lot of choline through my diet every day. Still, I've found that there's some days where I'm kind of lacking. It seems like I deplete my choline stores on some days, some days where maybe I've got more stress than normal or I'm just working a lot harder than normal. On those days, I found that if I take Alpha GPC, that it boosts my mental performance back up to the peak level. So for this supplement, Alpha GPC, it doesn't boost you beyond your natural mental performance limit, but it does help you on the days where your mental performance is lower, it does help you boost back up to your peak. So that's what I use it for. So in terms of my overall goal to increase my IQ and basically become the most intelligent person in the world, um, Alpha GPC doesn't really help in that regard, but it does help me keep me at my peak on the days where I just need a bit of a mental boost. So I would actually recommend buying some Alpha GPC. You don't have to get the brand I bought, but if you're buying Alpha GPC to get your choline, to get your daily choline intake, um, I'd recommend getting most of your daily choline through your diet naturally, um, like I've recommended in some of my other videos. Again, like I said, I eat four eggs a day. That's where I get most of my choline from. Alpha GPC and other forms of um, supplemental choline, they just aren't as good as eggs. They aren't as good as natural choline through your diet. On those days where my mental performance is lower and I choose to take alpha GPC, I would actually get more benefit from just eating more eggs. But there's a limit to how many eggs you can eat in a day. I already eat four eggs a day. On those days where my mental performance is lower, if I increased it to eight eggs a day, I would be straight back up to my peak mental performance. But, you know, some days you just can't eat eight, eight eggs in a day and it's easier to just pop a couple of Alpha GPC. But if you're planning to take that instead of any eggs, I wouldn't recommend that at all. I recommend multiple eggs per day. And then if you need a top up of choline, then go for Alpha GPC. Now onto the third supplement I tested. And this is actually an interesting one because it had a negative impact. It actually hurt my mental performance quite a lot. The fourth supplement I tested actually was the opposite. It massively improved my mental performance. But I'll just talk about the third one now. So the third one is Lion's Mane. So you've probably heard of this before, Lion's Mane. It's often touted as like a, a way to increase the BDNF levels in your brain, which should in theory boost your mental performance. Um, and if you see any marketing on Lion's Mane, that's all they'll talk about. They'll talk about how it boosts your BDNF levels, how it's great for your brain, you'll become smarter. That's not what I experienced at all. That's why I bought it. That's why I wanted to test it. Um, no, it massively tanked my mental performance. So I only took this for a week. And during that week, basically as soon as I started taking it, my mental performance measured by the brain training I do on a regular basis, it just tanked. 
and it didn't come back until I stopped taking the lion's mane. I have a theory why the lion's mane didn't work. So I think it does boost your BDNF levels, but lion's mane also, it increases a nerve growth factor. So what I'm thinking is it might, it is fertilizer for your brain, but it might force your neurons to grow dendrites that are too long and too many dendrites as well. And you'd think that having more dendrites and longer dendrites from your neurons would make you more intelligent, but it actually doesn't work that way. So your brain needs to be efficient in the neurons that it's got. It needs efficient connections. So with the lion's mane, I think it grows too many connections in your brain. And with the too many connections, um, you're actually less intelligent. The connections aren't as efficient. So there'll be too many connections between neurons that don't really need to be connected. I think that's why the lion's mane doesn't work. I think possibly, if I did this long term, it might help. The first couple of weeks, there'd be a drop in my mental performance. But I think possibly if I keep taking it, then the natural pruning effect in the brain, pruning back those connections to be the most efficient connections only, then perhaps my mental performance would rocket back up and even to a higher level. So I might actually test Lion's Mane again, but I can't recommend it at this stage. If anyone's wondering, the brand I bought is Ori Vida. So this is actually the top brand that you can buy. This is actually very expensive. So for Lion's Mane, there's this kind of fake product out there, this product that doesn't have the active ingredients in it to do what Lion's Mane is meant to do. So I bought the top of the line brand. This was like possibly $300. You get two different packs. And this definitely has the active ingredients in it, like they've done third-party testing. So it did have all the active ingredients in it, but yeah, the impact on my mental performance was a drop in mental performance. And that takes me to the fourth supplement that I tested. And this is the one that really worked. This is far better than all the other three. This is coffee fruit extract. So this is the brand that I bought. I couldn't actually find many different brands of this. There are a few tablet forms of this. Um, this one is like a dropper. So it tastes like coffee. So you can drop it into coffee and you won't really taste the difference. Um, just your coffee will still taste like coffee. Um, because this is made from the coffee fruit. So not the bean that coffee is made out of. This is the fruit that is wrapped around the coffee bean. But the coffee fruit, there's an extract in it that when you consume it, it boosts your BDNF levels in your brain. So BDNF is the brain-derived neurotropic factor. So basically it's a fertilizer for your brain. And I found when I take this, um, it definitely does boost my mental performance. And I found it has a short-term and a long-term benefit. When I take this, for the next hour or two, I will feel mentally sharper. I'll feel mentally stronger. I'll feel like I can do more work. I'll feel like I can think more clearly. And my mental performance, as measured by the brain training, will be higher. So that's kind of a short-term impact. It lasts maybe one or two hours. But what I've also found is, if I take this in combination with the brain training that I do, it boosts my brain training scores back to the peak level and helps me make new heights again. Out of the four supplements I've tested, this is probably the only one that I actually recommend, coffee fruit extract. So I'll put a link to this one down in the description if you wanna buy this exact one that I bought, but there's other brands you can buy. There's some in tablet form. Again, this is the dropper form. So it seems to act kind of like a fertilizer um, kind of like a steroid for my brain. So when this is combined with hard training, hard brain training, the benefits are greater than if you just did the training alone. There's a few other supplements I still need to test. They're still on my to-do list. So if you also want to boost your mental performance, if you want to be as strong mentally as you possibly can, if you want to boost your IQ, boost your intelligence to the maximum possible, make sure to like this channel and subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with all the other experiments I'm running on myself to improve my own intelligence. I'm testing so many things on a regular basis and some of them don't work, but some of them definitely do work. For example, the brain training, I've already gained 13 IQ points. If you combine that with the lifestyle changes, the diet changes and these supplements as well, I think I've gained over 20 IQ points by now. I haven't tested my IQ again. I don't want to test too often because I don't want to have any practice effect from the testing itself to kind of muddy the waters of what my actual results are. So I will test again, possibly in another year. And I think I've gained at least 20 IQ points by now in total from a combination of all the things I'm doing. So the brain training, um, the diet and lifestyle improvements, and also the supplementation in combination with the brain training. So if you want to increase your IQ in the same way that I'm doing it, uh, make sure to follow this channel, subscribe to the channel. I'll keep you updated with everything I'm trialing on myself. 
And yeah, we can figure this out together. Leave a comment below. I'll be sure to check it out. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next video.